Hey y'all, welcome to the Sweet Chariot Travel Channel. My name is Chinita and I am a solo traveler. In this video, I'll be showing my travel day of me flying from Lima to Cusco, Peru. In Lima's airport, there is a luggage storage area. I stored my suitcase for 39 soles a day until I was able to get back to Lima to pick up my suitcase. I flew with Viva Airlines to get to Cusco and it was supposed to be a quick one hour flight. It took all day it didn't take all day but there were so many delays um and a lot of waiting so i definitely would pick another airline the next time i fly to cusco my flight was delayed to cusco i know it's a lot of flights that got delayed or switched to another gate so I'm about to go and see if I can board the flight. I don't know if I can go so I can board it, but I'm about to go stay in line. Let me take this out. So we're about to board our flights. I wait till the last minute to get on the flight. Like I don't like standing in the line. Like I'd rather sit down because my seat is gonna be my seat regardless. So it looks like we're gonna get on bus and then it's gonna take us to our flight. This is like really weird. I never had to like board a flight from a bus before, so yeah. It should take an hour to get to Cusco, so that's not bad.
difference in the air. It's like my breathing is more restricted. And now I'm headed to go get an Uber or a taxi. It really doesn't matter at this point. I just want to get in the bed. So I'm trying to book my Uber. It looks like most people are going that way to go book their rides or maybe go get on the bus. So I'm going to book an Uber and then walk that way or see on the map if I need to walk that way. Looks like I would have to walk that way because I see all the cars are passing by. So let me book my Uber and then see. I'm definitely feeling the altitude. I have some cocoa tea. Uh, I was kind of, I didn't think I would need cocoa tea, but I'm thinking that because I've been in Ecuador and then I was also in Lima. So I was thinking, oh, I probably don't even need cocoa tea. I do need it. Like, I think it's a mixture between me being tired from being up all day yesterday, up all day today. And then also just the altitude. So yeah, I'm about to drink this tea and walk to this restaurant to go get something to eat, go get some water, and then shower and get in the bed. Yeah. And um, I'm going to show the hostel. I'll show my room. Well, I'll show this area. Hold on. I ain't going to lie. I was a little, a little nervous. I can't say scared. I wasn't scared. But I was like, where in the world am I going? When I first was um, arriving to my hostel. But um, I saw the reviews and they said like this area is a safe area. And the receptionist or the owner, she's probably the owner. She told me I just need to walk up this street and they'll lead me to the plaza. I don't even know what that area is. <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> yeah. So everything is pretty much pretty close. The restaurant is three minutes away. Ooh, too close. So here's the dining room area for breakfast. So it's a church over there. I guess it's a, oh, maybe they're doing drop off or donation. I'm talking about these people over here. Maybe they're doing like donation drop offs or something. Oh, they about to have a party. Look at the balloons. Let me stop being nosy. But yeah, this is the dining room area and uh, they have hot water and tea. She told me what these leaves were, but I forgot. This is a tea I haven't seen before. I don't know if that's lemongrass. It looks like lemongrass. 
my niece. Uh, look like cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon and clove. Mm. I'm really hoping that I am able to go to sleep, even though I'm drinking this tea because this tea, it doesn't have caffeine in it, but the alkaloids give you some energy. I was talking to my tour guide was telling me that they get coca leaves and they get like lime and chew on it. And the lime activates the coca leaves and it just gives them this really like a rush of energy. So yeah, um, I don't want that right now. <laughs> I don't want that. I just wanna, my head is hurting. I don't wanna take any like medication. So hopefully, I'm pretty sure the tea will help. But yeah, I'm finna just go get something to eat, go get some water and come back here and get in the bed. I'm gonna show y'all my bed. Although I'm showing this hostel and what it looks like, I'm just showing where I stayed when I was in Cusco. But I would not recommend booking this hostel. If you see it on Hostel World, don't do it. <laughs> the reviews look great on Hostel World, but the bathroom here was terrible. And there were two people who were able to like end their stay and get their money back because the bathroom was just that bad. So don't book here i'm just showing where i stayed this was pretty much the end of my travel day i did go to a restaurant i ordered some pollo consomme and chicha morada to drink and then i also had the lomo saltado it was no bueno it was not good i did not like it the restaurant just was not good so as you can see the streets are cobblestone and there are a lot of hilly areas in cusco another factor is the altitude the altitude is very serious in Cusco, so if you have a lot of luggage or if you have a suitcase, be mindful of these streets before coming to Cusco, which is why I dropped off my suitcase at the luggage storage area at the airport in Lima. Best decision ever, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you like and share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in solo traveling or if you would like to follow my solo traveling journey. My next videos will be of my visit to Cusco, Peru, so make sure you check those videos out. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, bye.